if you got a little dirt there. So weeds can grow in a heart that doesn't have the consciousness of Christ permeating through it to know what evil suggestion you got to cast out. So when you hear a suggestion that is contrary to Christ, you have to throw that thing out. That seed can't take root. You understand that? Death and sickness is a soul bound to fear. And when your soul starts to have the life of Christ flowing through it, like we showed yesterday, you, you, you become transformed. You don't see things the same way. You don't rehearse all the failures in your life. I'm going to build a little bit here before we do the anointing. Turn with me, if you would, to Exodus, the 23rd chapter. <clears throat> you know, the, the desire for everything in God is multiplication. He desires a generation and a people and a church that multiplies. He doesn't even talk about addition. He talks about multiplication. So the natural thing in God is reproduction. And you know, the church is today trying to reproduce in a non-kingdom way. So their success becomes limited. All they're doing, if you pay attention to what's going on in the cities where the churches are being built, is that they're starting to steal members from other churches. And all you're doing is building a time bomb if you're a pastor because when the next greatest guy comes, they're going to leave you and go to him. So what you have to understand is there's a kingdom way to multiply. There's a kingdom way to be successful. So let's, let's look at something that God told 